Cocaine, morphine, oxycodone, and a whole lot of cash. That's what a police cadet is accused of stealing from police evidence lockers. And that's our big story tonight at 6. That cadet is now facing some very serious charges. 11 News lead investigative reporter Jane Miller is live at the newsroom now. She has more on this for us. Jane? Well, Rod, if you're wondering how could this happen, the theft of evidence that's supposed to be kept securely, so did we. 20-year-old Nicholas Ishmael has been an employee of the Baltimore County Police Department for less than a year, but he's proven to be a quick study, police say, in using his rookie position as a cadet for illegal gains. Ishmael is accused of siphoning off drugs and money from the evidence control room in county police headquarters. But I have 15 cases that this uh, individual uh, compromised. Uh, in addition, at this point in time, uh, we have four uh, other cases where currency is missing, totaling $450. Yesterday, police say, when Ishmael was arrested on the police department's parking lot, he had $40,000 in a backpack that was evidence in a murder case. The investigation started when a commander noticed the prescription painkiller oxycodone was missing from a case in evidence control. An audit turned up the rest of the missing evidence, totaling more than $125,000 in drugs. So how could someone who's not even a sworn officer yet allegedly pull it off? How is it that an employee is able to walk out the door with evidence? How is that possible? You have uh, in the property evidence room nearly 2,000 pieces of evidence, some of which is no bigger than the pad you hold in your hand. That can be easily secreted on the body. Make no mistake about it, I'm deeply troubled by this circumstances, by the circumstance, and, and frankly, um, you know, for, for the agency, uh, it, it certainly uh, is a very serious matter. Ishmael lives in Parkville with his mother. There was no answer today when we knocked on the door. Inside the house, police say they found more evidence related to his theft of evidence from headquarters. Ishmael police say gave drugs to two relatives that they know of. What they intended to do is under investigation. The county police chief, Jim Johnson, today said it is a fair question to ask. Doesn't this incident raise larger questions about the county's ability to handle evidence with integrity? Reporting live tonight from the newsroom, I'm Jane Miller, WBAL-TV 11 News.